We're about to be reporting from Barry Odom's press conference following Saturday's heartbreaking loss to Georgia. We'll be talking to a few of the players after seeing how the mentality in the locker room either got better or worse from such a close heartbreaking loss against a ranked opponent here at home. This will make us a better program. This will make us uh, have a little more toughness and uh, trying times do that. And again, when you pour your soul into something and it doesn't work out the way you want to, it's frustrating. But uh, there's also, you learn, and uh, from a coaching staff you learn, from a, from a student athlete standpoint you learn. Being within a play of winning the game left a lot of the players agitated. I think you ever move away from a loss. I, I don't think I've moved away from losses we had three years ago. Um, but you definitely, I mean, you take the positives and you take the negatives and, and you can look at it and say, all right, if we would have just done this better, the outcome would have been different. Yeah, of course. Um, since I've been here, you know, I, I don't think I took a loss like that at all. The rushing attack nearly put the game away in the fourth quarter. Uh, we wanted, we wish we could have iced the game right there. And uh, then we got the opportunity again at six minute mark and uh, we didn't capitalize there. And so those hurt, as, especially as an offensive lineman. It was a Jamon Moore fumble that ultimately sealed Mizzou's fate. Uh, he's the same guy. I don't think he's going to let that bother him. I mean, obviously he might be a little more motivated, but he's still going to be the same Jamon, and that's what we need him to be. There were, however, a lot of positive takeaways amid the heartbreak of Saturday's game. The last time we scored against Georgia was about eight quarters ago. I didn't know that, and so, you know, to have, you know, to score the touchdowns against them, that means a lot, so. Coaches and players both spoke about the love that this team has for each other and the confidence that they have built in one another. That's a good sign going forward as conference play picks back up after this weekend's game against Delaware State when the Tigers travel down to face LSU at Baton Rouge for LSU's homecoming game. Let's hope that the turnover problem gets solved and that the defense continues to improve as weeks go on and the competition gets harder. Live from MUTV at the athletic facility signing off, this is Justin Viorsa.